<laughs> All right, yeah, I'm Carl Corey. I'm a photographer, and I live in River Falls, Wisconsin. And uh, I've been a photographer since I was 11 years old. Well, I, I retired shooting film. I never shot, yeah, I never shot digital uh, as for an ad or, or commercial work. I started shooting uh, with the Browning when I was 11, like I said, you know, a little guy. And it was just uh, pictures that interested me. And then um, I went to school and, and got a degree in photography and, uh, from uh, Northern Illinois and then I transferred to Southern Illinois University. And I was fortunate to be trained, like, you know, traditionally, you know, in the wet process, so to speak, uh, view cameras and such. And then um, I was a fine art photographer, but I needed to, to make a living. So I turned my knowledge of the craft into uh, shooting advertising. Well, the first book I did um, was called Rancher. And that, that book uh, is a, a book about the ranchers in the Western Dakotas, primarily in the Red Owl, South Dakota area, and um, about what it's like to be a rancher, you know, kind of the last of the true American cowboy, so to speak, you know. Um, and these folks are authentic. And that's one of the things that I'm drawn to is authenticity, you know, the real deal. And um, so that was the first book I did, came out of my advertising days. Um, and uh, I cut my teeth, left the advertising below, behind and cut my teeth on, on this book. Uh, that led to um, uh, my career as, you know, my change in careers to back to my roots as, a, as more of a documentary fine art photographer. Uh, the next book I did was called um, Tavern League, which was about the uh, tavern culture in Wisconsin, about the places, uh, primarily about the places that um, people congregate. And that book was done with the Wisconsin Historical Society Press. And that book, uh, I met the tavern owners and realized that there were a lot of these, most of these taverns were family owned. I became interested in family businesses of 50 plus years in existence. And I did uh, the third book, my last book, uh, which is called uh, For Love and Money, about small businesses in Wisconsin that are 50 plus years old. I will have to say, for me as a photographer, the actual image making is easy um, because you know it's part of my, it's just ingrained in me to, uh, to be an image maker. Uh, but um, the logistics uh, are definitely the most difficult thing. And um, there's a lot of preparation, a lot of time, a lot of money spent uh, to um, gain access and confidence. And um, the best way is to be honest, you know, be truthful. And so I always try to be right up front with people what I'm doing, you know, um, show a lot of respect for them. Uh, and that'll open doors, you know, people can sense that. Uh, addressing the smile issue, which people I've, I've always heard a lot about, is like why aren't you know people smiling or, or such? Um, people don't naturally smile. Um, as a matter of fact, anyone that runs around all day long with a smile on their face um, would put up a flag for me. You know, I mean, I, I, I just don't think that's human nature. You know, so I try and have not a frown, of course, but, but I don't need a camera smile. You know, I don't need a smile for the camera look from people. I want them to be, again, honest and authentic, and I want them to be represented as they are, as you would see them not necessarily um, smiling at you. So that's why I don't smile. Well, another project I did, I just finished, and that's a blue a portrait of the American worker, which came out of on my last book, For Love and Money, I became interested in the people that work for these families as employees. and. Um, so blue came out of my um, uh, respect for the American worker. Uh, you know, I wanted to do that. And that, that series was photographed nationally as well. Um, I would say, without a doubt, the most productive um, plants and the most profitable plants showed the highest degree of respect for the employees. And uh, it was, there was an equality there. It's like, you may, you may be the welder, I may be the CEO, but let's go get a hamburger. Or I wanna talk to you guys today. Or, you know, um, what, what's on your mind, uh, Mr. Janitor, Mr. You know, clean the floor guy. Tell me what's up, tell me, and tell me how I can make your life better, your job better. And we're gonna pay you a living wage. Those places, by far, were the most successful and the most productive plants that I visited. I, I, I keep, 
trying to develop that, you know, my own style. I just, I just photograph. Like I say, I'm really an honest photographer. Um, I'm not, I'm not one to like uh, manipulate a lot of stuff um, and uh, change the look of a scene. A little credo of mine is that um, um, I share observations that I, and I don't make statements. You know, I share observations, and that, that's kind of my style.